So I wanted to make a tutorial explaining to you guys basically how to get my mod set up and just a general guide to like, you know, make sure it works properly and yeah. Hopefully this should be easy to follow along with since it should, like it's really easy to get these mods set up. It's basically why I've been like holding off making a tutorial for all this time. That and because I'm lazy, but yeah, it's pretty easy to get my mods installed. So let's get into it. Also, if you haven't already, you should join the Mech Assault Discord. I'm not even trying to like, you know, like shout out to myself basically, but basically all my mods are going to be installed, are going to be not installed, they're going to be on my Discord for you guys to download. I'll have links in descriptions to each, or, uh, each one of my mods that I release. I also included a text tutorial with each one of my mods, so if you don't like the video tutorial, the text guide should help you. As I said, it's really easy, so yeah. First things first, you're obviously going to want Mech Assault in your possession, I guess. You either want to have it on console, if you want to mod your console to have mods on it, or PC. If you have console, then you're going to need to, or like the original Xbox, you're going to need to have it modded, because otherwise it's literally impossible to get mods onto it. If you have PC, you're going to want to, I don't know, somehow get Mech Assault on PC, I'm sure there's like a download link somewhere. But yeah, get Mech Assault however you want it to get it and then decide if you're going to mod PC or Xbox. The steps are very similar but it's not exactly the same. If you're going to mod Mech Assault, you need to have it out so that you can see the XBE file and like the MGF files. I know for XMU like it uses um, ISO files to like launch it but basically um, you need to have it so that you can see all the files. For console you basically just get your like Mech Assault disk and download it to the hard drive. For PC, I'm pretty sure most download links will have it like that anyway. Once you have that folder set up, you're going to want to come to like the Discord to then see what mods you want to have. But first, before you download any mod, let's say you want Grinder Enhanced or anything, you need to download the base mod first. And the reason why is because that's basically where I kept all the main files for the mod that the mod needs to use in general. So once you click on, let's say, yeah, obviously you need to start with base mod. You go, you click on the base mod link and it should take you to my Google Drive page. You then just click on download, right click, click download. It should make a zip file on your desktop or whatever. Extract that zip file. Now you have the Mech Assault folder on one side and the base mode on one side. To transfer mods to console, you're probably gonna wanna like get like a way to, you know, transfer files between an Xbox and PC. Any FTP program would basically be able to do that. And you basically connect to the Xbox. Basically the same way you would transfer like the DLC launcher or any other files to Xbox and PC. And then you go to wherever you installed Mech Assault. If you have like a default hard drive, I think it's probably going to be installed in the E drive. You go inside the E drive, you click on Mech Assault and you should see like, you know, the list of files, the same as PC. Now open the base mod that you just downloaded. Make sure you open it all the way until you see a default.xpe inside the base mod and some other files such as like, I don't know, some other MGF files, some folders. One of them should say Mech Set or whatever. Now you want to copy all those files, make sure you copy the folders and the files included and the default XPE with it. And you just want, for PC, you just want to drag it into the Mech Assault folder. It's going to copy all that data inside the Mech Assault folder and it's going to say do you want to replace two files. Those two files basically just make it so that the game can even see the mods in the first place. And then you basically just say yes. And that's literally it, you literally have Mech Assault base mod at least installed. For Xbox, or like console at least, it's exactly the same thing. You should already have like Mech Assault open in like uh, your FTP program and you copy those all those same files to the Xbox where the Mech Assault game folder is. And same thing, it should ask if you want to replace two files or whatever, it should ask you to replace something at least and you say yes to it. And there you go, now you have it installed on console or PC. <laughs> it's literally just that easy. 
Now, if you want to install more mods, you're probably going to want to install the DLC if you haven't already. If you're confused on how to install DLC, you basically just want to go to the website where it has a list of all the original Xbox DLC that people have saved. And you go to where Microsoft is, you download the DLC launcher. Once you download the DLC launcher, it should have, again, a default.xpe file with the DLC launcher. This time, you don't want to copy it to anything. If you're on PC, you just want to go into like your emulator and open that default.xpe file. Make sure you launch that default XPE file and then it should come up with a list of all the Microsoft DLC. You just click A on every single list of all the DLC options. You put A, press down, make sure you install all the DLC. For the original Xbox, if you don't already have DLC on that, it's a little bit harder, but you just want to transfer the whole DLC launcher to Xbox. The same folder is like Microsoft, not inside Microsoft, next to Microsoft, so that the Xbox can see the DLC launcher basically. And then you go onto your Xbox, you launch the DLC like how you would at any game on original Xbox. And yeah, you do the same thing. You press A on every single file, you go down the list until you've done every single file. Now you don't need to install the update file. Basically, at the end of the DLC launcher, there's gonna be like a thing where it says launch, like launcher two or whatever. And it basically just updates Microsoft. I think the only thing this thing does is it fixes a glitch with uh, the campaign naming things, but like text files, but that doesn't really matter for this video at least. You don't need to download that. On emulator, I don't even think you can launch it. it doesn't even work anyway. But you don't need to download it at all. Mods will work without it. The game will work without it. Even just default Microsoft will work without it. At this point, you're probably going to want to test to see if base mod installed correctly before you install like anything else. I mean, you don't need to test it, but you know, just to make sure it's working. So just launch it on whatever platform you're on, PC or Xbox. On uh, PC, you probably just want to like, you know, put start emulation, click on like the default XPE inside the Microsoft folder and just launch the game. On Xbox, you just start up the game like how you would on the hard drive, whatever. And then it should just be basically you shouldn't even see any changes at first. It should just launch into the default Mechasalt menu. That's, that's a good sign at least, it means you haven't messed up any of the game files. Now you want to go to the options menu on the menu, on the main menu obviously. And now you should have an extra option that wasn't there before, and it should say to launch mods. Basically if you launch the mods, then you'll see the screen should go black for a second at least. And then it should come up with like a loading bar that's going to basically load all the mods and make sure like everything's set up for you. If you see this loading bar, that's a really good sign. It basically means it's just loading all the mods that you have so far, which is basically just the base mod. Uh, but yeah. And now once you're on the main menu, you should instantly see that it's modded. You should have like an extra option that says load level dev and the background should be like reddish and the music should be different. So it's very obvious once you have mods installed. And yeah, that basically means you successfully at least installed base mod on either console or emulator. Now I made sure when I was making these mods that let's say you're like really tired of having these mods on, or let's say you just want the default Microsoft experience. Like, you're like I don't, I don't like this crappy menu music or whatever. <laughs> but basically, you just go back to like go back to the options for how you launch the mods in the first place, and now you should have an option that says launch without. That basically will just launch the game 
without mods installed, it should just launch default Mech Assault. No mods, no anything, it should just be default regular Mech Assault when you press this button. And yeah, if that went correctly, then that's it, you're done basically. If you want to play default Mech Assault, then just don't launch the mods. If you want to play with mods, then launch the mods, and yeah. Now you're probably wondering, how do I get actually something interesting, not just, you know, base mod. You want to go back to the Discord, and obviously underneath base mod, you should see a list of all my other mods that I've released. Most people I would say would want Grinder Enhanced. So if you want Grinder Enhanced or any other mod, it's literally the same method. Just pick any one you want and download it the same way you did for the base mod. Once you have that downloaded, it's literally the same method as before. Make sure it's like extracted and you go all the way until you see like the folders inside of it. You should see something like this and then you just want to copy this and extract it or like copy it wherever to the same folder as the Mech Assault, the same way you did it for the base mod. And if it asks to replace any files, just say yes. And then there you go, now you have another mod installed. For Xbox or PC, you should be the exact same method as I explained before. So yeah. Now you can go back onto the game. You can launch the mods again like you would normally. Go to like wherever like you installed the mod. So let's say it's a multiplayer mod like Grinder Enhanced. Go to multiplayer. Go to Grinder. And then you just want to scroll until you can see the list of maps. And it should say in back is GE, which stands for Grinder Enhanced. Now just launch any of those maps and you should have the mod, and that's it. And again, you don't have to like launch any of these mods, you could just play regular Mech Assault, I guess. All the other maps should work fine. If you want to just launch out default Mech Assault, yeah, you can do that as well. Now let's say you want to download like another mod as well. Let's say you want to download Multiplayer Expanded, so you can have all the list of new maps and stuff. Then it's the exact same method again, you download it, whatever. And I try to make sure most of my mods are compatible with each other so that you can download multiple of them at the same time. I mean, I don't have that many mods in the first place, but maybe in the future I probably will. So let's say you want to install Grinder Enhanced and Multiplayer, multiplayer Expanded at the same time. That's very possible. It's exactly the same method, like I think you guys know by now. And yeah, now when you go back on the game, you should see that you have Grinder Enhanced and you should have Multiplayer Expanded maps at the same time. And yeah, you can do it vice versa. Let's say you downloaded Multiplayer Expanded first, then yeah, you can download Grinder Enhanced afterwards. I would probably say if it's incompatible with another mod, but yeah, as I said, vice versa right now, it's literally just my only campaign mod. So if that sounded a bit confusing, but yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my guide on how to install Mech Assault mods. I know it's basically very easy if you've been following along. It's literally just drag and drop. But I wanted to make sure you guys got it 100% correct because I know sometimes people had trouble, like maybe they installed like only some files. Like I know some people only installed like the actual like loose files, not the folders that I've included. You need to copy everything across. And you need to make sure it's in the same folder as Mech Assault. And yeah, it's literally just drag, copy, everything, drop. It's literally that easy. But yeah, if you have any questions, I'm literally always free, or not always free, but... No, I mean, I'm always willing to answer any questions if you guys need help. You can leave uh, a question in the comments, I guess. Or you can leave it on my Discord, I really don't mind. Just make sure, you know, you try to like ask me specifically if you need help or something. Or if like, maybe I didn't explain something absolutely correct, so you got it wrong or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm always here to help, I guess, and I'm sure other people will probably try and help you with your problem. 
And yeah, at this point, if you've just been listening to the video and haven't been following along, then yeah, you're gonna need to join the Discord if you want any of the mods to download. It also just makes it really convenient to have one place for all the mods, like in the list. So yeah. I'll also be posting, anytime I do like a new mod or like updates to one of my mods, I usually post a video or like an announcement in the Discord. So yeah, make sure you keep up to date with that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, bye guys.